The saying goes that football is a game of inches, and in two cases, the ball bounced Medfield's way literally, helping the Warriors to an upset win at Stoughton in a Division III Southwest semifinal playoff game. The Stoughton High football team, the second seed in Division III Southwest, played host to Medfield, the number six seed, Friday, November 7th. Medfield came away with a 23-13 win, advancing to the Division III Southwest Championship game against top-seeded Walpole. Stoughton falls to 8-1 and is eliminated from postseason play. The Black Knights forced turnovers on Medfield's first two possessions of the game. The second turnover, a Joey Gerolamo forced fumble recovered by Brian Crimmins, led to a Stoughton scoring drive. Quarterback Jake Gibb hit Brandon Swain Price for a 27-yard touchdown pass two minutes into the second quarter to give Stoughton a 6-0 lead. Medfield took the lead, however, 7-6 on an 8-yard touchdown pass to Matt Patry with 31 seconds left in the first half. Medfield then made its first of two game-changing plays. On the ensuing Stoughton drive, Josh Hirschfeld intercepted a tipped pass and returned it 36 yards for a touchdown. Medfield went for two to take a 15-6 lead at the half. Stoughton cut the deficit to 15-13 midway through the third quarter. Gibb found Swain Price for a 45-yard catch and run to get Stoughton in scoring range. Gerolamo finished the drive off with a three-yard touchdown run. The score remained 15-13 heading into the fourth quarter. Medfield made its other game-changing play about four minutes into the final frame. Medfield blocked a punt, recovering the ball at the Stoughton two-yard line. Hirschfeld then ran for a two-yard touchdown and got the two-point conversion to make it 23-13 Medfield with six minutes and 57 seconds left to play. Stoughton advanced the ball in its next drive, but was stopped on fourth down at the Medfield 27. Medfield held on for the win. Stoughton may be eliminated from the playoffs, but there are still two games to be played. The Black Knights will travel to Milford before hosting Canton in the annual Thanksgiving Day matchup, looking to cap what has been another memorable season on a high note.